Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jonathan. I'm back again with another video and today I'm going to show you and uh, really outline for you the strategy to generate free traffic for your website over time. Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to be talking to you about how to really structure, how to generate free traffic for your website, for your online store, for anything you want to drive traffic to, to really drive sales and conversions for your business. So in, very importantly, everybody has a marketing budget that is not limited. You need to invest in things that are long-term, right? As a business owner, you need to think long-term even before starting. You need to understand where you want to go to before starting because by going on the wrong path, you may be doing things uh, that you may think are right but are not getting you anywhere. These are just uh, certain things that I'd like to suggest, that I'd like to uh, point out that uh, strategies that you can really use to really like a growth hack your business in a sense. For uh, traffic generation, you wanna structure it such that you're not losing out even if one dies. And what, the, what I mean by that is that you're doing consistently different things, you're trying out different things that could uh, potentially see what you can do to generate more traffic from uh, multiple sources at one time, okay? So uh, what I suggest would be having paid traffic and uh, having free traffic at the same time. So for example, if you were just starting out your business, you want to be creating digital online assets that last forever, right? Keep that in mind. Have digital online assets that last forever. What that means is um, you're gonna be investing in SEO and content marketing. That is an inevitable um, uh, method to go because in, in today's world, you, you need content marketing to survive, to really lower your ad costs but we will supplement it with paid traffic, supplement it with good retargeting ads that will really generate you uh, the ROI that you are really seeking, okay? So what you wanna do first, for example, you were starting off, right? I don't know what to do, how do I generate traffic to my website? Number one, get a content creator or just do it yourself, okay? That's, that's just, just the most basic thing. Number two, use Facebook and Instagram. They are the two biggest paid traffic platforms. Okay, I guess uh, Google AdWords work, works as well. Google AdWords, Facebook, and Instagram. These three uh, things are things that you need to utilize no matter what business uh, you are, okay? So um, you basically structure it such that you're running paid ads uh, to cold traffic and you are running a really, really cheap uh, cold traffic ads. So you're not optimizing for conversion. You're not optimizing for even uh, engagement. You're optimizing for video views. You're optimizing for just people just to watch your video, just to have brand awareness. There's a, there's a, opti a marketing objective called reach as well. You can use reach as well, okay? So once you are really set, uh, you've set up and automated uh, all your ads for your paid traffic site, right? At the same time, consistently, you have to do SEO and content marketing. So SEO, really get your internal linking, get your H1, H2, H3 tags right, uh, structure uh, your website, get your citations in order, get everything in order first, right? So that's the fundamental uh, technical part of your website that you need to settle first. After you finished um, doing all the technical stuff for your SEO, right, your, um, yeah, basically all that, you concurrently need to do content marketing because uh, you need consistent output of content to make your brand, in a sense, yes, relevant. You need your brand to be relevant, okay? So what can you do, right? People are like, oh my goodness, I'm in this niche. I'm selling tents. I'm selling, I don't know, alcohol. Like, what, what do I need to put out, right? Like, how, how, how is there no ideas in the world that, that you, you can think of? There's literally everything in the world they can think of, right? For example, if I'm selling tents, right? I can talk about camping, I can talk about um, mountain hiking, I can talk about how to pack uh, a suitcase for travel, uh, how do I go camping, uh, best camping spots uh, around the area, right? Uh, like off the top of my head, I have really so many ideas that I can uh, venture out. And the best thing about it is, because you are a local business, right? You already have a destination and a, a group of people and audience that you already know and uh, uh, like, you really know your audience very well, basically. Okay, so you can really ask them these questions as well, like uh, like face-to-face -face customers, like what, what, what do you wanna know, right? What, what are certain things uh, that you think about when you go uh, camping, right? So this is um, really real-life marketing uh, insights that you can gather from your customer. In addition to that, you can just go ahead, uh, go answer the public.com, answer the public.com, and you just put in uh, whatever comes to mind, right? So you just put in camping, then you, they will literally give you a multitude of uh, different ideas that you can have 
uh, that you can really use to write uh, your content around. All right, I've also created a, a video about uh, keyword research that you can uh, check out. I'll put it in the link below. Okay, so uh, in content marketing, right, what, what are you really focusing on? Okay, so nowadays, as you know, video is king, but uh, blocks and words still, still dominate the market sp uh, marketplace because Google is still ultimately a search engine. So number one, what you have to be doing is consistently putting out blocks. Okay, so blocks, uh, you've really got, you, uh, you can watch my other video where you can uh, generate ideas on what type of blocks, what type of ideas that you really want uh, to write about. Number two, you must be doing videos, okay? And the videos, uh, it can be engaging, can just be a short, a long forms, informational, uh, something that is va of value, something that your, your customers and your niche around your customers uh, will, will really see it as something that is not salesy. So you're really not trying to sell them on these videos. You're just uh, trying to build a brand around, around uh, content around your brand and really, really enhance the things and uh, information about your brand so what you're going to be doing uh, with your videos is basically producing content around the niche of your brand that your customers may find uh, information and value that is worth to them. You don't need to upsell to them because uh, by them just being on your website, right? It's literally them telling you, I am invested in your brand. I'd rather spend time on your website to read your really valuable information than be somewhere else in the world. So already that is a sign and indication of um, commitment to your brand. Okay, so that's basically converting whatever cold traffic to warm traffic as well. Okay, so these online digital assets will, will exist in the world forever. So you don't really have to worry about that. Okay, so more importantly, uh, people put out videos, right? Even though they are, they're doing well, all right, they're consistently putting out videos. Don't forget there is YouTube SEO as well. YouTube is the second biggest uh, search engine in the world and people don't give it credit for that. So you need to understand that even in YouTube, you need to do YouTube SEO. So like in your description, right? You can literally transcribe your entire YouTube video of whoever's talking in that video. You can put it in, in, in the video uh, description. Also, I'll put all your links so that you can uh, backlink uh, to your website as well so that you can really generate free traffic from, from there as well since it really exists forever and you have created the, the content, okay? More importantly also, uh, besides linking back, backlinking, to your website, on your website, put these videos in as well. So like according to the Google search engines, right? It, it's telling Google that whatever's on YouTube is and on my website, they are coherent and, and they're linking together. So it, it's something good. And YouTube is uh, owned by Google as well. So it's, it, it's an entity that Google cannot blacklist. Okay. The last one that uh, I would suggest that people may or may not want to do would be podcasts, right? Podcasts are a bit easy because you, you don't really need to, to show your face. You can just come up to the mic, you can just talk about something. And uh, more importantly, after, after you've done your podcast or whatever, remember to share it. Remember to share all these digital assets that you are building for yourself, right? What good is it that you produce this amazing content and you're not sharing it with the world, right? Share it with your friends, your families, uh, allow it to promote, put, I don't know, put it on your LinkedIn page. Uh, just literally put it as much, as many social media platforms as you can. And someone will definitely, you, you, you don't know, but someone is definitely watching on the other end and uh, maybe a potential customer uh, to your business. Okay, so just remember, uh, podcast, you just need to transcribe it uh, after, after you've done your podcast and posted it on wherever you want to post it. Okay, so let me just outline and uh, give a conclusion to this video. So number one, uh, so really if you're already um, just beginning your website, you've not got a lot of people, you've not got a lot of traffic to your website, there are not many eyeballs, right? Okay, number one, so you just do paid traffic ads, right? You just build your brand awareness and you get and uh, really generate awareness around your brand so that you're able to retarget these people in the future when you've gathered enough uh, pixel data, okay? So at the same time, you do your SEO, you do your technical, uh, all your backend stuff, basically sort it out. And then the third thing would be do your content marketing. And in your content marketing, just be free, don't be salesy, uh, just uh, try try to give as much value to your customer or your potential customers uh, as possible and remember to let everyone in the world know about what you're producing okay remember to transcribe so that the google search crawlers can come in uh, go into your videos go into your podcast and understand what what your brand is really promoting such that you become an authority uh, in your niche and google uh, sees it as authority not only your customers okay so 
this is actually really really hard work I like I, I could just be talking about it right now it could be easy sounds really easy but it's really really not because content marketing even though it's extremely hard once you get the ball rolling uh, things are just gonna flow and uh, become easier because you just stack on these um, amazing resources that you have that no other brand in the world no other brand in your niche in uh, among your competition has these type of digital assets that they can just plug and play right as opposed to paid traffic where if I if I put some water in if, if I put some money in there's uh, money flowing out but if I just take out the water then there's no money flowing out right whereas these digital assets will really contribute uh, to your long-term success and really drive traffic to your website that will really allow you to just relax in the future just relax in the future it's really creating that brand equity uh, in the first place and if you just do it consistently over time give it like 90 to 100 days right just consistently every single day you're putting out content you will really see results uh, in the future that would like you'll be really happy about not only that so after you've done uh, all this uh, content producing right right you, you, you've set you've got thousands and thousands of views uh, you've got a lot of shares you lot a lot of comments a lot of likes it's time to start retargeting it's start it's time to retarget every single person that has maybe watched your content uh, gone on to your blog uh, gone on and watched your podcast subscribe to your channel uh, seen your ad on Facebook literally everybody who has done that who has taken the action to show uh, that they are invested in your brand in certain in some certain way you go ahead and retarget them and you really really re reap the, the, the benefits of um, the work that you have put in so this is really the basis of digital marketing and this is something that it's really really hard work right producing content takes time it, it really takes money it takes coordination it takes planning uh, but it's really really worth it because you've really built up something that you are you're able to pr be, uh, be proud of and your business will, will really function as something that is inseparable from the product right people see uh, the product with your content as well they don't just see uh, the product as a function so I, I think that's really very important that some some people don't really understand and this type of branding is so immeasurable in terms of of uh, value right you can't put a value to how much entertainment how much uh, information gain that people have when they read your article or, or they see your video right and you can just uh, not constantly but you can start increasing the prices of your products as well because uh, what comes with the service of producing content is also uh, the product so it, it kind of value adds both ways so I've, I mean I've, I've listed down these things and just keep in mind that um, you just need to get things going. You just need to start uh, producing stuff. You just need to start putting things out there and letting people know. All right. I hope you've gained some value from this video and I really hope you in implement it into these, uh, th these strategies into your online business as well, really to, to grow your business. If you like this type of content, yeah, please feel free to subscribe uh, down below and uh, I hope you've gained some value from this video and I'll see you in the next one.